Yo, what's up, Rotten Egg? Nice, nice. We got some people saying here. Yeah. Nice, Blade Series 2, dude. Awesome. And Raiden, what's up, Raiden? Let's see. So what's good? What's good, dude? It's Monday, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Rotten Egg, did you did you did you submit a match from um? Last week, I forget. Did you play? I, I think you played one with the, with the, the other guys on your team. Mm -hmm. You did? Yeah, I think I, I, I think I remember seeing you, because we submitted a screenshot or something, right? Yeah. Nice. So, what happens is, um, and Raiden, you just got you got Warzone installed. I, I saw right on your uh, on your PS or your Xbox, right? Yeah. So what happens if if you guys play if you guys play around with someone on your team and you put and if you send the the screenshot of the match and whatnot to yo what's up Bommy boy dude <laughs> if you send the screenshot uh to the scoreboard uh and then you come to office hours the next week you get to claim an extra uh bond coin for for playing with with a teammate so Rotten Egg let's 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 get you your point right now because I I know I know you definitely placed played played with someone. Where's uh let's put in the officer's chat. And then I'll do all the attendance ones later. You play with Andy and Soar and Al Prince. Yeah, is Soar in? Is Soar here? Okay, there you go. He's here. Okay, Soar. Coin, he's like, give me my coin, dude. Yeah, okay, here you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so Sword dude played very well this week with with Andy and uh, who else was on that team with you? Jack, right? And T Bone. Yeah. So, Sword, you're gonna get your. Here's your. Here's your. Coin for playing Warzone. Jack Ma? No, it wasn't Jack Ma. It was Jack J A C, dude. Yes, yes, sir. You'll get two coins, dude. So you'll get one coin for showing up today, and you'll get another coin from playing a game of Warzone with a teammate last week. You get two, dude. You definitely get two. Raiden. Uh, and we'll play. We'll play some Warzone after this. Uh, so after every office hours, um, so in an hour here or fifty-five minutes, I guess we'll we'll play we'll play Warzone with anyone who's who's still online and wants to play. Tina Dragon, how's life, dude? Let's see. Did everybody see the uh, the touch grass challenge? Does anyone have questions about the the touch grass challenge? Yeah, I did. It's basically we have to like get over more than five thousand. Like if, if we get more than over five thousand in two days, then you get to be. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So if so, what we want to do is we we just you know we want to encourage you guys to get out and about you know walk around and stuff. So, uh, if you so if you have uh an Android, uh, there should be an app on your phone called Google Fit, and if you have an iPhone, there should be an app called uh, Google, uh Apple Health, I think. That it, what it's called, it's called a pedometer, and all it does is it, it just tracks how many steps you take in a day. Um, and so if you if you if you have more than five thousand steps in in a day, you can take a screenshot of that and you can post it in the in the gym class uh, channel, and you'll get a bond coin for that week. If you do that three times in in a in a week, so if you have three days that you have 
five thousand steps, um, you'll get two two B two bond coins for that week. Um, and uh, so some people are also asking, like, oh, does running count? And like, yes, running does count. So uh, what we did is if if you have if you have an app that tracks like how far you run or how fast you run and whatnot, um, we'll say that two miles is the same thing as five thousand steps. Um, you could also walk two miles if you wanted. That would be that would be fine too. You know, I sometimes go on walks. I just go walk around. All right, let's see. What are we waiting on? Uh, nothing. No, I'll just see more people to come in, and then we're gonna start. Cool. All right, let's see. I have no questions. You have no. Well, it's okay. Yeah, 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 well, I got, I got, I got problems for you guys, so don't worry. <laughs> Raiden, what grade are you in again? Like seven, eighth grade or something. I'm in a fight right now. Okay. Oh, down them. Down water. You bag them. You bag them. What's the question? What's the question? Oh, uh. All right. Okay, so we'll start with so this week. This week we're going to start off with um, some bonus assignments where you can or earn more bond coins and more SCP by um, doing a little bit of math. All right, and what the whole point of this is to get you guys uh, prepared for next semester um, in um, in your classes, and so that like you understand more of the stuff that you know. I know it's it was a difficult year uh, with COVID and whatnot, like learning online and stuff. So there's probably a lot of stuff you guys didn't exactly get um so we're gonna go through some of that let's see all right first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure everyone remembers how to multiply and divide stuff okay so here let's let's copy this in Okay, so here's here's some good introductory questions about multiplying and dividing stuff. All right. I'm watching an ad about butter and I like it. So. What about butter, Raiden? What do you what do you say, dude? Raiden, are you playing a game, dude? Yes. Oh, okay. Come on, you gotta pay attention to class. You can't play during class. <laughs> I just watched the ad about butter and I liked it. You watched the ad about butter and you liked it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. Raiden, do you know how to multiply fractions? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, here, Raiden. How, how, how would you do this one? But, uh, I can't see it because, like, like this stream is, like, backed up. Oh, okay, here. Let me let me share. Let me share my screen on this one. You're right. Let me, let me, let me share my screen. You're right. I always forget to do this. There you go. I'm live. I'm live on Discord, so you can check it. So yeah, how would I do this one? This one here, Raiden. So we have three fifths times a half. You guys know how to do this? Oh yeah, I'm calling you out, dude. So I know that be like the same denominator. No, not quite. That has to do with adding and multiplying. That that has to do with adding and subtracting fractions. Here we're just multiplying fractions. Oh my god. Yeah, see? I, I lost it. I already lost it. Okay. So, Raiden, do you want to know the trick for how you multiply fractions together? Yeah. Okay. The trick to what you do is you multiply the top parts together and you get a number. So, what is 3 times 1? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> What's 3 times 1? Mm. Three. Three. Good. Very good. Okay. And now we're going to do the bottom, and we're going to multiply them together. So what's five times two? Oh, that's a hard one. No? That's ten. Two. Yeah, two. Nice. Ten. Nice, dude. Okay, cool. And now so you, now you just put, you put them over each other, right? So we multiply the top. Three times one. We got three. And then we put the divided, and then we do the, the, the bottom multiplied together. Two times five, which is ten. So the answer for three-fifths times a half is going to equal three-tenths. Okay? Oh, I knew that. 
All right, good. All right, you knew that. All right, all right, dude. So how would you do number? Well, here, well, let's not do the dividing yet. Okay, let's do number twenty-three oh, no, here. No, I know how to do weights. I know how to do dividing. You do? What? What's the trick to doing dividing? Let's see if you can do twenty-two here. How, how do you divide these? So 2, 2, 6, 4, 3, 12 over 3. 12 over 3? Okay, good. Yes, 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 yes. This is equal to 12 over 3. So what was the trick here, Raiden, when you were dividing when dividing fractions? What did you have to do? I changed the division symbol to multiplication. Good. And then what did you do? You did something else. I, uh, what was it called? The reciprocal. Reciprocal. Yes, good. The reciprocal. Yes, very good, very good. Very I don't good. know the answer for 23. You know the answer? Okay, cool. We'll get to that. We'll get to that rotten egg. All right, good. But yes, yes. So so this this is the important thing here is that whenever you see dividing fractions, you can change this one to a multiply, but you need to flip this one. And that's called getting the reciprocal. So now this becomes 2 thirds times 6 over 1. And then, yes, multiply the top, 12 over 3. Now, technically, we're not done with this one, Raiden, yet because it says give the answer in simplest form. What does simplest form mean? Good. Can't be factored anymore. It can't be reduced anymore. How how could I how could I factor, reduce, or simplify twelve over three? Good. And so what's twelve divided by three? Four. Nice. Right. So this final answer here is four. Okay. All right. Nice. All right, Rotneg. You said you had twenty three, right? Yeah, I already had the question. The answer for twenty three. Okay, let's let, let's see. What, what what did you get for twenty three? What was your answer? Twenty eight over fifty six. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Good. This is gonna be yes, good. Twenty eight over fifty six. Okay, but is so this? Seven times four equals twenty eight. Good, very good, very good. And then seven times eight is fifty six. Okay, but here's a question though: Is this in simplest form? Oh, e either of you yeah. guys. So, Rotneg, you say yes. Raiden, is this in simplest form? 28 over 56? No. no. It's not in simplest form. Why is it not in simplest form? Because it has big numbers. Has big numbers. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Now, now just because it has big numbers doesn't mean it's necessarily in simplest form, but that should tell you that it may be not in simplest form, right? Um, simplest form means that I can't divide the top and bottom by any more numbers, okay? So right now, here's an example of something that's not in simplest form. Let's say we had 2 over 4, right? I could divide both the top and the bottom here by 2. I could say, uh, I could do this, divide by 2. Wow. Di exactly, right? 2 over 4, I could also write as 1 half, okay? Let's do another one. What about 3 over 27? What's another way I could write 3 over 27? 1 ninth. Good, yeah. Rotneck, do you see how I can write this as 1 ninth? Yeah. How? How? What did, he, what did I do to get this to become 1 ninth? You basically divided um, 3 over 1 and I got 1 and 27. You, um... Good, good. Yeah, I divided both sides here by three. Is what I did, right? Okay. Let's try. Let's try another one real quick. Oh, rotten egg! I want you to answer this one. Let's do. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do twelve over sixteen. Rotten egg. What's another way to to simplify twelve over sixteen? So let's first think, Rotten Egg. What, what's a number that goes into 12 and also goes into 16? Uh, 3 over 4. Very good. Very good. Yes. Yes, this is equal to 3 over 4. The way we did this is, right, we divided this one by 4. We got 3. And we divided this one by 4. And we got 4. 
So we basically divided by four to equal three over four. Yes, 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 yes. You're dividing the top and the bottom. So what has to happen is the top and the bottom have to both be divided by the same number. Divided by four. Yes, good, 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 good. Now, okay, so now let's look at this 28 over 56. How am I, how am I going to simplify this 28 over 56? What's that? Right here, 28 over 56. Uh, no, no, Rotten Egg got this one, but we got we got to simplify this one. So, 28 over 56 is 1 over 2. Very good, very good. How did you do 1 over 2? How did you get it to 1 over 2? So what you could have done is you could have divided this one by 28. And you could have divided this one by 28. 28 over 28 is 1. And then 28, and then 56 over 28 is going to be 2. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Rodnag, I want you to do this last one here, which is 4 divided by 2 thirds. How am I going to do 4 divided by 2 thirds? It's a little tricky. So what 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 did we guys we're learn? Do, yeah? We're gonna do it by, by equaling it to six. We're gonna do it by equaling it to six. Okay. It it, it will it will equal six, but how did you get to six? <laughs> Besides using a calculator. You can't use a calculator. <laughs> you gotta be able to do this by hand. <laughs> I swear I have no calculator, I swear. Okay. So What's the trick when we're dividing fractions, guys? What 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 do we do here when we when we divided a fraction? We keep the first. One. Keep the first change one. The symbol. Change the symbol. Change the symbol. Good. Reciprocal of the last. One. And then we flip this one. Rodney, do you see how we flip this one? What happens when I flip two over three? What does two over three become if I flip it? You want me to see it? Or... Yeah, I want Rodney to say it. Come on, Rodney. What is it? What's it gonna be? Come on, dog. You got it. You got it, Rotten Egg. <laughs> okay. If you, if you flip 2 over 3, you're going to get 3 over 2. Okay? So now you need to multiply this. 4 times 3 over 2. So, Raiden, how do I multiply 4 times 3 over 2? Very good, very good. We're going to put a 1 under the 4 because we, we want these both to be fractions. You can always put a 1 underneath any number to make it a fraction. And then you just multiply it. So, so what do you get? 12 over, 12 over 2, but, but. But. I also get a 12. 6 over. Wait. Yeah, 6 over 1. And what's 6 over 1 the same thing as? Another way to write six over one is to write it as what? What's six divided by one? Six. <laughs> Good. Because we 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 um we make sure the one w would stay the same. Yes. The six was like oh. Yes, six divided by one is just six, right? One goes into six mm -hmm. six times. All right, good, good guys, good. All right, good, good, good. All right, we're making progress. All right, nice. So that's that's how to multiply, and divide fractions. Okay. All good, Raiden. All good. All good. Okay, Ronick. We're gonna do adding and subtracting fractions. Okay. Let's get this in. Alright. Let's copy this in. Okay. Now let's try to add and subtract some fractions here, Rotten Egg. Alright? 
So let's say we're doing this one. Two-fifths plus two-fifths. How, how would I do this? Two-fifths plus two-fifths. What are the rules we know for adding and subtracting uh, fractions? Um, when we add and subtract, it, it, this would equal um, this would equal zero point eight because we made sure the two and the two would stay the same and the five and the, like the denominator would basically flip. Good. Well, okay. So what happens is we need to make sure. That, so fractions have two parts to them, rotten egg, right? They have a numerator, right, and they have a denominator. Okay. When adding and subtracting fractions, you need to make sure that the denominator is the same, okay? So, in this case, the denominator... and make sure the denominator is, like, in place right there. Yeah, good. See how they're both five? So, the denominators are the same. So, this is okay, all right? So, now, if the denominators are the same, all right, and you need to add or subtract, all, all you have to do is just do whatever's happening on the top, okay? What's up, sword dude? Do we get two coins? Yes, you will get two coins, dude. You get you get one coin for playing a game. You get one coin for uh for showing up to class, dude. Wait, that's a way to get coins now. What? Yeah, that's a way to get coins now. Yeah, that's another way to get coins. Yeah, if you if you play Warzone games with people during the week, uh, and then you um uh you come to class next week, and then you you get an extra coin for doing that. I'm still pissed though. What are you what are you, what are you pissed at, dude? I woke up at 8 in the morning to go to school because I thought I forgot, my, forgot to be my computer over there. But no, I already did that last week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, man. So I woke up at 8 in the morning for no reason. 8 in the morning, dude? What? Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's well, okay, continue with the rest of All right, let's continue. Let's continue, dude. Let's continue. Okay. Um. All right, so... Uh, Sword, do you know how to add and add and subtract fractions? Kind of, but I'm not that good. Okay, well, I suck at. No, you don't. You don't fractions, suck, dude. I don't. I don't really like fractions, unless it's like uh, half of a piece that you get it right. Yes, 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 right, right, yes. So yeah. a fraction here, two fifths. This means two pieces out of five is what it means. Two little pieces out of five, right? Um. So yeah, like a test board. You get uh, two out of ten. Good, good, good. Two out of five. This is this is what we call like the whole, right? And this is like the part, right? This is the and part. That, hey, wait, in school they told us the second, the top is the numerator. Good. And what's the bottom? The whole. Uh. And it's, it's, the, it's the it's the it's the denominator is what it is. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. So the top is the numerator, the bottom is the My denominator. My stomach hurts, okay? I eat some spicy food. You eat some spicy food, dude. What? You're lucky I made it. <laughs> what did you eat? What did you eat? What'd you have? What was the spicy food you ate? My Korean fried noodles. Korean fried noodles, okay. okay. I got three times spicy or four. Uh-huh. Okay. okay, continue. Okay, so yes, this is this is what we call the numerator, okay? And this is what we call the denominator. Okay. Um, so, when adding and subtracting fractions, you need to make sure that the denominator is the same. Okay. So in this case, the denominator for both of these things is five, right? So the denominators are the same. So now all I have to do is just add the top parts, right? So what's two plus two? Four. Four. Good job, guys. All right, good. And then you just put the regular denominator. You just put whatever the denominator was. So two fifths plus two fifths is just going to equal four fifths. Okay. 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 Let's try to do this one. What if I'm doing three eighths minus one eighth? What's that going to be? Wait, wait. We're trying to do this. We're trying to subtract these two fractions. We're trying to do three eighths. Subtract it two, from one eight. Two eight. Good. It's good. It's two eights, right? Oh, oh, oh. This is uh, simple. I, I thought you were like this is because uh, the way they tell us is like way more steps. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. This is simple because these both have the same denominator. They both have the eight on the denominator. That's yeah. why this is simple. Okay. I don't remember them teaching us this way. Okay. Well, that's all right. 
But okay, is this is this is this in simplest form? Two over eight. Yeah. No. Oh no. Actually, no. It's not because we just did it. Yeah. Simplify it, right? Yes. Well, you don't always have to simplify things, but in this case, you do. Like, uh, this this one can be simplified That's more. Let's divide by two. It's gonna be one four. Good. Good. This is gonna be Fair one four. Right? Yes. Very good. Yeah. Because you just divide both sides by two. The top and bottom both divide by two. Did you see that rotten egg? Do you understand how that that simplifies? I was guessing, okay? I was busy pulling out with gushes. Oh, man. Okay. That one open. Okay. All right. Here, let's go to the next one. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, so. Now we're going to make it a little bit harder, okay? Now we have one half okay. plus one fourth. Okay. How am I going to do a half plus a fourth? Half and a fourth? Uh-huh. So what what's the rule? What's the rule when multiplying? Sorry, when adding and subtracting fractions, what do they what do they both yeah, have to have? Or, 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 I they both have to have the same. Good, the same denominator, right? Uh, what's up, Tina? I'm busy. I have to open this freaking pack. This pack it won't open. Pack it won't open, dude. What? That just won't open. Okay, so yeah, you want you want these to have the same denominator, right? Is the two and the four the same denominator? Yeah. No. No, this is a two. Oh wait, this I'm, is a four. I'm not focused. No mind. Well, come on, focus, focus. So how what how can I make these things have the same denominator? Uh, you can subtract two or add two to the other, other half. No, 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 no. So you need to change the denominator of this, okay? So let let's look at, let's look at some ways that you can write one half, right? So one half you could also what, what's another thing that we we just did this actually earlier, twenty eight over fifty six. This is the same thing as one half, right? Yes, yeah, divide because we divided both sides by twenty eight, right? So if we if we want to make this into something else, that's one half. We need to multiply the top and the bottom <laughs> by the same number. Okay. What number do I need to multiply both of these by in order to get the bottom to be a 4? Hmm. So how do I turn how do I turn the bottom into a 4, dude? How how do I how do I turn this this bottom here in, into a four by multiplying yeah, it by something? Uh, change the, 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 the bottom number. Then we got to multiply the bottom number by something. What do we got to multiply by? Divide it. No no no. Multiply multiply, oh, multiply multiply it multiply multiply. Multiply by one. Well no we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom by two okay so instead of writing one half I'm gonna write That's this gonna as two fourths. two fourths good. Good. I know it's gonna be two eighths. Then we can have, uh, But we, no, no, we, no, no, it, right? no, 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 because we're doing we're doing one oh, okay. half plus a quarter, right? All right, all right. So so. Oh. So two quarters now plus one quarter is what? Three fourths. Three fourths. Good. Very so good. You got three quarters now. Good. Three quarters. Yeah. Do you see what we did? We right. we took this this one half and we rewrote it as two over four. So that we could add it to the other one that's 1 over 4. Because they have the same denominator. Okay? Mm -hmm. Things have to have the same denominator. Yeah. Alright? What about what about this one? Let's try to do this one. How would I do 2 thirds minus 4 ninths? Oh, the gushers gave you all reds? No way, dude. It's way... What? No, there's no way, dude. What? There's no way a gusher gives you all reds, dude. What? You want proof? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a put a picture in the chat, dude. Put a picture in the chat. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. What? Wait, say that. Yeah. You. Why red? Why all red? Oh, 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you really did get all red. Are you sure you didn't get the package that just gives you all red? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I got a regular Gushers. Wow, that's a, that's actually pretty rare. How many colors are there generally? I think it's red, blue, green, orange. I don't know. I forgot. I haven't had Gushers in a while. We could we could calculate the probability of that happening, actually. Do you, do you want to calculate how probable it is for that to happen? Yes. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're gonna do probability. Real quick. We're gonna do something fun. We're gonna do something fun here because Sor, Sor, somehow, Sor somehow got all red. I feel like one of those is orange, though. No. I don't see any oranges. Okay, we made it orange, but it's not orange. All right, let's. I can let's see here. Let's let's do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. I want I want to do some probability here. This is kind of fun. What's the odds? Please. Like Alright, here you go. So here's your here are your gushers. That's the picture. Yeah, that's the picture. That's it, right? Okay, well first first of all, Sword, do, do, do <laughs> dog dog. Do do you see where this says what? strawberry dude? Oh wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me about the wrong one. <laughs> this says strawberry dog. <laughs> I think you're only gonna get strawberries. Oh. Choose <laughs> <laughs> the wrong one. <laughs> So, you know, okay, one second. Let, let's 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 check out what the gushers colors are, though. I didn't know. It. I thought it all comes in the same flavor. Okay, 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 okay. So usually, yeah, usually there's four colors, I think. I think blues are real. I think purple is a real one. Let's see. Let's see. There's probably. Let's look. I I feel like, I feel like these are them, right? There's green, yes. green, red, blue, and orange, right? But I saw purple in the other picture, though. Yeah, that's like the, the weird. The, that's the weird ones, though. I think the standard ones are green. Question: Where did it say strawberry again? Right here, dude. Oh. oh. Don't tell me what's going on. Okay. Here we go. Actually, this is cool because this this actually involves fractions here, Sore. Okay. So, I ate three already. Oh, you you already ate three in this picture. Yeah. So there's wait, one, wait. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four five, four, five, five six, eight. Nine. Oh yeah, I ate three. So there's twelve total, right? I got eight in total. Well, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you ate three, right? Oh wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I ate four actually. Oh, you ate four. So there were thirteen to start I can't with. Count today. Okay. Let's, to eat, man. Let's say there are fourteen. Fourteen gushers. Okay. Let's just say fourteen mm -hmm. in a package. Okay. Make sure it's not all strawberries this time, please. Okay. All right. Let's say let's say you randomly choose one gusher. Okay. And we want to figure out what would be the probability. Like how likely is it that you would pick up a red one? Okay. Oh. Really. Yes. So it's basically like this. Uh, there's four. It's Five red ones, and you have two greens. Look. No. So what's the odds of picking the green up? Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, we can do that later. That's a different question. Let's. I, I, I just swap colors. Let's just say you have a massive bag of gushers, okay? And the the gushers have an equal chance of being one of these colors: green, blue, red, or orange. Okay. And uh, I want let let's say let's say the gushers right could be any of these colors, right? Yeah. Green, blue, red, orange. What would be the what would be the probability that you picking up one of them would be red? What's the probability mm, of picking one out of fourteen? No, no, no. Say there's say there's only no, no, no. Say there's only four four colors it could be, and you want you're only gonna pick one gusher, one gusher, all right? So let's say the probability of picking one gusher and it being red. It depends, though, how many gushers are in the bag. Ah, okay, okay. Say there's a say there's a bunch of them. How many colors are there? Exactly. Say there's only four colors, right? Colors. And that there's an equal number. Like, how many like how many colors are left? Like, yeah, two reds, one red. Ah, uh, okay, colors. okay, 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 okay. Let I'm getting into details right I here. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let let let's say it's a massive bag of gushers, and there's like a million gushers. Okay, but 
really. But 25% of them are green, 25% of them are blue, 25% of them are red, and 25% of them are orange. <laughs> what kind of bag of all mean, guys? I don't know. Look at a pool it's a satchel, dude. Becoming... It's a satchel bag, dude. Huh? It's a satchel. Oh. Can we jump in it? <laughs> right. You got to drop the plates. Um, yeah. Okay. The pro- you slowly see, see some uh, red blood coming out of the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let, let let's 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 say let let let's say that um you you have your bag of gushers, right? Okay, the probability yes. of picking a single red one would be one out of four. Okay, because there are four colors Damn. and only one of them is red. All right, that's that's picking one gusher to be one red. is red. Yeah, only one. One is Just, red. If 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 only if only one is red. Okay, this would one be the is first red. gusher. It's a million. I say what's what's like one out of like ten thousand. Yeah, or more. Okay, but now let's say, let's say for instance, that you want to pick up another gusher, and you want it to be red, right? What you would do, the probability of doing that would be another one fourth. So the probability of picking two red gushers in a row would be this times this, which ends up being one over sixteen. So yeah, there would be like four different colors in a in a bag, like yes. twenty of them. I'll be digging. For that one red, I don't know what you mean, bro. I'll be, I'll be digging for it. Let's guarantee that I'm digging I, I thought red. you didn't like the reds. I thought you were sad you got all reds. Hey, a flavor is a flavor. A flavor nah, is a flavor, I dude. Words like of wisdom, Skittles. dude. I like the green ones the most. I'd be digging for that green one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I was always guaranteed green until they ran out. That's... All right, that's how you figure out probabilities of gushers and stuff. All right. Yep. All right, let's dig in for the color you want. Let's let's go back. Let's go back to this one. Let's go back to subtracting fractions real quick. Okay, Let, let's one, say three fourths. Say we want to do two thirds minus four ninths. Okay. We're gonna have to multiply yes. by three. Yeah, which one are we gonna multiply by three? Two thirds. Good. And so it's gonna be six nine. Very good. Very and, good. And six nine. Six nine. <laughs> so the answer is gonna be two nine. Very good job, Soar. Yeah, man. I just came in here like ten, five minutes ago. I'm taking over. You're taking over, dude. Yeah, you're taking over, dude. You're figuring it out. Nice. Okay, good. All right, awesome. In white class. Yeah, it's Monday. It's, it's an early day for people. Makes sense. Monday. I went to a freaking auditorium. Auditorium? Just, yeah. Yeah. In my school. Okay, let's see. Let's let's do let's do some variables here real quick. What are we doing now? Um, okay, let's see how the parachute works. How do you use how the parachute? How do you use yeah. it? No for that. Actually, I I do get curious about that. If you shoot if you pull a parachute, uh huh, right? And then you put the parachute back, how would it how would that work? You mean if you could put the parachute back in the backpack while like you're falling? Yeah. You know how a parachute, right? You yes. only get to use like once, like one at a time. Right. And then after you use it one time, it's not good anymore, or you or you get to keep reusing it. Well, you gotta put it. So you get you'd have to put it back in the backpack, is what you'd have to do. Oh. Yeah. Let's go to space. It's not about no, space. People people reuse parachutes all the time, dude. Oh, it's not about space. It's not about space. Yeah, how many stars are we did? There are a lot of stars. I know. Yeah. <laughs> So how's the burning star happen again? Uh, yeah. How does a burning star happen? You know, like like how does it happen? Or how does a star burn? Yeah. So I mean, stars burn because um, that's actually kind of a good one actually. How does a star burn? Oh, you know this? Even though it's not math. Oh wow. Yeah, it's okay. I'll answer this one. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, so stars are made up of usually gases, right? Uh huh. Stars are made up of a gas. Okay. They made of rocks too. Uh, yeah, they, they usually have know. some rocks inside them, but you know, stars usually are yeah, right. made. A burning yeah, star is, is made of gas. Movies, they have they're yellow, they're pointy, they're rock, and they are glowing and move. <laughs> in cartoons, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like the fairy odd parents. Oh my gosh! Oh, the fairly odd parents. Yeah. Okay, so stars are made of gas, and usually the gas they have, for instance, would be something like hydrogen, right? Uh-huh. Or helium, okay? Uh, helium is one to play with. Yeah. 
So okay. That's really it. That's kind of a voice after you keep using it. Yes, for too long. it makes your it makes your voice very high pitched, doesn't it? I know that, but if you keep doing it, would like would it screw you, screw it up? Like, no, I don't think it up? would. I mean, you, it would hurt your brain. Like you shouldn't be uh, uh you shouldn't be inhaling that much. Air. Yeah, you should be you should be breathing in air, not helium. You know. Okay. All right, nice. Who's back? Is Raiden back? Is that what he said? Uh, one sec. Nice. Okay, dude. Official Nick is here. Awesome. Nick is here. Dude. Captain Foof. Who's Captain Foof? Oh, a uh, Raiden is Captain Foof. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah, good. Good, good to see you, Nick. Wait, Nick. Um, what? John, they on a Twitch, but they they ain't pulling up in Discord. Come on now. Oh, you can watch both. Honestly, doesn't matter. Yeah. No, it's breaking. Okay. All right. So what happens is stars are really big. Soar, right? Aren't stars like massive? Okay, cool, Raiden. Um, so when something is very big, it has what's called a very high force of gravity. Do you know what gravity uh -huh. is? Yeah, yeah gravity is uh, what is, uh, make us, uh, they freaking, uh, gravity will make us stay on the floor. Good, 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 yes. So gravity is the so force. Gravity will be floating right now. Gravity is the force between two objects. Uh, with Wait, what object? mass, just any two objects. Oh. So, for instance, um, a geo. there's an equation here. The, the, the equation is f is equal to g m m m one m two over r squared. Is what this is. And what this tells you is that the force of gravity, so like how 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 much force there is pulling two things together, depends on how heavy the two things are, and also how r here is the distance in between them. Okay. So, for instance, um, when you hold a rock um, next to another rock, technically there is a force of gravity between those two rocks. Like, they technically have a force pulling them together. But because the mass of the rocks are so low, because they're not very heavy, right, Sor? They're not going to have a force that you can really detect, right? It's kind of like magnets. Have you ever held, like, two magnets to each other, Sor? Yeah, they always try to get closer. Good, good, good. Enough. Well, so this technically happens between all objects, but the amount of force that tries to bring them together um, is um, is the force of gravity, and that comes from just two things having mass. Okay. So the reason why gravity keeps us on the ground is because there's a force of gravity between the mass of us and the mass of the Earth. The mass of the Earth is huge. The Earth weighs a lot, right? So that's why there's a force of gravity between us and the Earth, because the Earth has a lot of Question mass. Though. Yeah. Isn't it Earth like the tiniest planet out there? No. Or something like that? No, there are tinier planets. Damn, bro. How does Jude know all this, but he still hasn't got his space yet? Hasn't got my what? He you know all this, but he still hasn't got his space. I haven't gone to space yet. Yeah. Well, soon. Jeff Bezos is going hey, to space, bro. dude. You guys going to be like, hey, yo, bro, we're streaming in space, bro. <laughs> you were streaming in space, bro, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see Bummy Boy freaking floating in the background? <laughs> okay. Now it's low about the GMM2 in the distance. Yes, yes. It's, it's about the mass and the distance. Okay. So, because of this, uh, Sor, um, the sun, or a star, right? A star equals is heavy right it has a lot heavy. of mass okay uh which is m the m1 all right and because of this it's going to have a large force of gravity okay wait it's a moon a star or a planet the moon's a moon oh yeah the moon the is a moon is one category yeah no the moon is just a moon there are other moons out there I know that. I think like Mars has over like a hundred or twenty-seven. Yeah, Saturn's got a lot. Jupiter's got a and lot. And then freaking the sun, freaking mad, freaking people call it a freaking planet. No, the sun is not a planet. The sun is a star. I know that. I think we all know that. There's some people are idiots who do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so because there's a large force of gravity, because a, a star is very big, this causes everything inside of it to crush. Okay, like. Okay, it's, it's, what was the side of this question? 
yeah, everything inside the star is crushing. Okay, so there's a, there's uh, a, a, a right after you talk about everything crushes. Yeah. Okay. There's a large crushing force inside the star. Okay. Can we do a cooking class. Yeah, we can do some cooking. Yeah, well, we should do Did a cooking class. He said, "Do you just want to show us his cooking skill?" I'll teach you guys how to cook. Cooking the snake. Yeah. Okay, so there's a large crushing force inside the star, okay? What this yeah. does is this causes the gas inside the star to get really, really close to each other, right? It, it, it has, it, it's... So, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. The crushing is, right, from the inside is forcing the gas to merge together, kind of. Good, thing. exactly. Yes, perfect, perfect. Um, so this causes the gas to merge together, okay? And actually what happens is... That if the gas gets close enough to together, what happens is called fusion. So, this yeah, could... Dragon Ball yes, <laughs> yes, okay. fusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens here is when you have gas atoms, like things like hydrogen and whatnot, when they get so close Euphoria. to each other. Yes. Pardon? Euphoria, that kind of gas. What, what ball of gas? What would you say? Yeah, that kind of gas. What kind of gas are you talking about? Hydrogen the gas. gas like, helium gas. Uh, no, uh, I don't know what that is. So, okay. Yeah, the, the gas inside the planet, inside the star. When it gets so yeah. close to each other, it, it creates... It, it, it What happens is it fuses, and it creates fusion. And in the process of creating fusion, it cre it explodes, basically, right? And that creates so a lot of energy, like, and that's why it burns. Uh, when they combine, right? Yeah. One or more... Is it's forcing too much. The other has to get out. Well, yeah. What happens is they 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 join together and they shed a little bit of themselves. And in doing I'm that, just, I'm just I'm just thinking of a Dragon Ball reference right now. Yeah, no, it could be like a Dragon Ball reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like um or yeah, I'm trying. I, I can think of the Starcraft reference, but if yeah. you get a freaking soundboard on your on your soundboard. Oh, should I get some mm -hmm. some 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 Dragon Ball? You you want to send me some Dragon Ball yeah. clips? I'll put them on, dude. Freaking uh, Seven Deadly Sims, a new season coming out on the twenty eighth. Okay. Seven days. Oh, I'm gonna take you Nice. All right. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's do. Let's do a little bit of um, algebra. Okay. Because so Sor, what's gonna happen is we're gonna have another so Sor, you're pretty close to T Bone, right? On on SCP points, you're like three thousand, four thousand down from him. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm back. Yeah. Okay. So I was saying, Sor. So we we want to give you guys opportunities to get more SCP points, right? Because uh, you're you're close, Sor. I think you're in second place right now, right? I don't know. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. So, um, what we want to do is is we're we're gonna have more assignments here where like these challenge problems where you, like you can gain SCP by completing these math challenges that I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, yeah. What happens if you don't? What happens if you don't win the PS5? What happens if you don't? If you don't win the PS5? No want. If you want to win the. What happens if you want to win the PS5? No, what if you don't? Oh, if you don't, well, there are other prizes we're giving yeah. out. We're giving out a lot of other prizes. Okay, okay, yeah. so so we don't have to pick the PS Five. Okay, it's oh, 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 I see. Oh, if you don't want it, oh, like if you win yeah. and you don't want it. Yeah. Yeah, you can pick whatever the prize you want. Frick yeah. You don't want a PS Five? Not good. Really. I just want to pick the PS Four. Oh. I don't feel like doing all that freaking. Transfer yeah, but the PS5 is, is lit, dude. The PS5 is so nice. I know that. But okay. I the one later on. Okay, okay. Because I don't feel like I need two consoles in the house. Oh, you could always just sell the PS4. <laughs> yeah, but I got to transfer the data for That's it. That's true, you do. Yeah, you would have to create the account. It's yeah. a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Okay. Um, we'll be learning again. We're going we're gonna to do a little bit of, of algebra, okay? <laughs> So, okay, pre-algebra, what kind of algebra? Yeah, pre-algebra. Yeah, pretty, pretty basic algebra. Okay, Gio, what's the odds? One out of a hundred, okay? <laughs> Being two and Mondo, they're running Rebirth duos. They both run Meta Gun, OP ARs, 
with the same shotgun, same everything. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What's the odds of them winning? Uh, probably probably a lot because they, they just ha they keep winning all the time, don't they? I know. What does he have? He has two two hundred wins. I, I need I need like actual duo. Who's who's be my duo? Like an actual duo. Oh oh, they keep just running duos together. That's what they keep doing. I mean, like if you just dim to dim, like no dumb man. Freaking no freaking look good they are. Yeah. Maybe, okay, maybe we need I to get, maybe, maybe we need to, we need to get them on the count, camp counselors, dude. Oh my god. What yeah, what if we what if we got Mondo and, and DM2 on the on the camp counselors? My friend I can't play. He's gonna keep complaining. But I don't like Warzone. Let us play Rebirth. I know, I know. You can't play Rebirth though. Here. Here, let's uh Here we go. How to write algebraic expressions in terms of words, okay? Uh, we've done it before. Yeah, right? Yeah, we've done this. So, let's say, for instance, let's say we have something, and we say x plus 3, okay? Wait, a question is, when we did PEMDAS, is that algebra? Uh, that is. It's going to be a little bit of algebra. Yeah, that that's order of operations, which we'll, we'll go into that again. PEMDAS, right? Okay. Okay. So, x plus 3. x is what we call a variable, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Another way to write this is to say the sum of x and 3. Or you could say... Times. Uh, times? Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. No, no, no. Wait, no we're, just doing, we're just doing add things here. See how we could say x increased by 3? Or so let's say 3 more than x. Okay? Yeah. Let's see if we had subtraction. You write it, take a picture. What? You do this or we just take a picture. Oh, I'm just taking pictures. I, I have a textbook that I'm using. And then I just take pictures okay. and we're going to go over it. Yeah. So here we have okay. m minus 7. What what does m minus 7 look like in terms of words, right? 7 minus 7. No, no. It could be m minus 7, right? One way oh, to say that would be, be 7 less than m. Do you see how this is 7 less than m? Oh. m minus 7. Oh, or the difference so, of m and 7. m is going to be a greater number than 7, right? Yes. Yes. Well, it doesn't have to be a greater number, actually. I mean, this could be negative, too, right? Yeah, maybe get it. Okay. Okay. Go. All right. And then what if we had, like, 2y, right? And product. Yeah, good. This could be 2 times y, the product of 2 and y. This could be k divided by 5. This I know that, but what is that q word? Quotient. So quotient. Quotient. Okay. So quotient is like product. So product, this is for multiplying things, okay? This is and this is for dividing things, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see that? Wait. Okay, good. Wait. When, wait, can we please? Can we what? Can we what? Can we need SCP for some bond coins? So, we're, can you trade SCP for bond coins? Yeah. No. <laughs> or is it just not? Uh, you, you can trade your channel points for bond coins instead of SCP. Oh, wait, I also have a question. What's when up? When does summer camp, summer camp end? Because we all have different summers and stuff. Uh, the beginning of August. Damn, August? That's so early. Yeah, well, it's about a month away, right? We still got some time. Wait, I think... Wait, how long is summer for California? I think our summer is till September, honestly. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay so let's... August is like September, let's... like 20th or something. So let 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 let's say I'm I'm gonna write something in terms of words, and you have to tell me how I'd write it in terms of variables and numbers. Let's say I say four more than x. How could I write that? Four more than x. You have four sum of x. So, or what's sum of x then? No, wait, wait, no, wait. Can you go back any example real quick? Okay. Some see like I said for sum of x. Yeah. See, like, that's, uh, oh, I forgot doing it in front of sum. Yeah, but we want. Uh, I'm giving you the word, and I want you to write what the equation is. Okay, just so. Wait, the equation was that mean again? So see how this is an equation like two times y m minus seven. Oh, so we got. So it's four plus x. Or x plus 4. Or x plus 4. Right, yeah, both of these are okay. Oh, we're trying to find the inspection. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try 6 less than y. 
Alright, alright, that one. Why am I in this? How we say? Okay, let's get a let's get a D in it. Get a G actually. A product of G and five. Five times G. Or the opposite. You know, the well, usually you always put the number in front in front. But yeah, good, good, good. Okay, good. Okay. Nice dude. Okay, good. You got that. That's good. Alright, let's get something else. This is kinda simple. Any simple. Or yeah. Okay, let's make it a little bit a little bit harder, okay. So we two instructions then. Hey, who's typing? Here, here we go, here we go. Who's typing? No one's typing. I'm just waiting for you to type. Hey, you're not typing. Here we go, got something. Oh, right writing. Oh, you think? No, why is this never fucking copy? Or is it just not working? Yeah, it's so dumb sometimes. One sec, I got it. Okay, so let's say we have here, we say Eve reads 25 pages per hour. How do I write an equation for the number of pages she reads in H hours? But how many hours does she read? Well, that's going to be H. It's going to be H. That's going to be a variable. Oh, H is hours. Yeah, so she reads 25 so pages. We're looking to find it, but it depends how many hours she reads, so it's going to be multiplied. Good, multiply. So what am I going to write? What's my equation going to be? So let's say, like, page is read is going to equal what? Page is 25 pages per hour. Good, so how so much? Yeah? Five pages per H. So we're going to say 25 times H. See? Yes. Yeah. Because 25 pages times the number of hours, right? That's how many pages she reads. Oh, 25 pages. Geez. That P is merging that X. <laughs> Which one? P is, P is what? Wait, wait. That's a G. Oh, this is, oh, this is an E. This is an E, dude. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, you thought... Confused, we, we, confused. Yeah. That well, e right there? It's, it's a confused E. It's a confused, it's a confused one. Okay, let's say let's say this. Let's say, let's say like... Um, Swore has five less wins than DM2, okay? And let's say DM2's wins is Y, okay? I just think L. Is L, you want his wins to be L? Yeah. Okay. So, SOAR wins, SOAR's wins is equal to what? In regards to DMT's wins and and this, we need five more. Right, but so your your wins is is DM is how do, how do I, how would I write that as an algebraic expression? So you have five less wins five than him. L. What? What five is minus L? No, not five minus L, because you have so five L less minus. wins than he does. Oh, it's L minus five. Good. See, that's L minus five. Yeah. Good. Forgot what's subtracting. Okay. Okay. That's no, okay. Yes, it's just flip around between multiplying and. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 All good. All good. Okay. Also, what? Metal was in here. He just left, by the way. What's up? Metal was in here a couple of seconds ago. Was he? Did he say here, dude? Is he one of his bond coins? In? Oh, why did he leave, dude? I don't. Know. That's one of his Xbox, dude. <laughs> okay. Now you go to a PlayStation, buy a gift card, and give it to Sword. <laughs> For the last two minutes. <laughs> yeah, one second, one second. Last one here, okay. and then we'll play. We'll play some. You want to play some Warzone? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm playing with the axe. Yeah, dude. I know. One v one me. Yeah, I need a one v one T Bone. I thought he wanted a one v one in a uh, gun game. Hey, T Bone, I don't know where he is. Yeah, where's he today? I haven't seen him today. Yep. Uh, can you finish this real quick, though? We're doing it right now. Like one minute. Here we go. Friday's temperature Friday's was 20 degrees warmer than Monday's temperature. How do I write an expression for... F is adding. So Friday temp is going to equal what? 20 plus T. Nice, dude. Good. Plus T. Good. Very good, sword, dude. Nice. Very good yeah, job. Um, here, I'll give you an extra bond coin because you participated as well. So you get three for today. Yeah. Let's give him, let's give him an extra bond coin. Yeah, <laughs> nudge.
<laughs> Here, I'll give you two. Pick yeah. Get Raiden one. Let's give Nick one. I think Rotten Egg was here too. I haven't heard from I haven't heard from in a while. I haven't heard from him a bit either, honestly. Game bro. You gotta you gotta change some of the people roles. Yeah. Roles, unless they're not doing it. Alright, thanks everyone for uh coming office hours. Um awesome. we're gonna have an team too. The freaking uh swimming coach. I think he does it every day because he's a sweat. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we should make him the swimming coach. He's a sweat. Um nice. Okay. Yeah. Dude, he's a sweat, dude. Here, let's um let's switch over. Let's let's play some let's uh uh let's play some COD. I got, I got it. Who wants to play COD with us? Damn bro, no one's done play COD either. Damn. What is this? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's right. Plunder, dude. What are we doing? Plunder, is for? it Raido or Raid? 